So I take the uh, what's it called? This guy right here. Uh, the grommet from the old one. Just pry it out and cut it again. And then you get your fingers in there and you rotate this piece around the back part that's bolted up to the the uh, don't even know what the hell it's called the knuckle and if you get it this way horizontal the thing will just pull right out and you don't have to screw around with your parking brake trust me that's much, much easier than the last time I did it. I took apart this whole thing and it was a pain in the ass. Alright, so this is the old one. And you can hear it, but you can't see it. This thing's all shot. Uh, and this is the new one. It comes with the ABS wire and this is a uh, a Moog this thing is about $175 to me it's worth it to spend the extra bucks for something decent so you're not gonna have to do this again I know I'm not gonna have to I'm actually I'm probably gonna trade this thing in soon but you know whatever I gotta keep the wife safe uh, one issue you might get from chiseling this out is actually the same thing I got last time. The backing plate gets a little fucked up. Just take a hammer and chisel again, straighten that thing out so you can get the bolt straight through there. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's not going to screw anything else up. But basically, just reverse the procedure. Um, these things get tightened to um, 140 foot-pounds. I would put some Loctite on it. I'd put some blue Loctite on. Um, and it's really not that difficult. Just torque everything down. Make sure you know you go over all your bolts, you know, all your hardware, bolts, nuts, whatever. Uh, make sure your caliper doesn't fall down on you when you're doing it. And that's it. Put this thing back together and. Go down the road. Have fun.